It's time for some real education. According to Jewish folk tradition, a golem is an animated anthropomorphic being that is created entirely from inanimate matter, often clay or mud. The word was used to mean an amorphous, unformed material in psalms and medieval writing. In the 2018 movie, The Golem, a woman creates a golem to protect her village from a group of thugs. Yeah, and, and if you think about this interesting piece of Jewish folklore, it's only mentioned in once in the entire Bible. It's in the 139th Psalm of, of David that you will have a reference to a golem. And it's not even necessarily clear from that reference they were referring to an actual being. But in Jewish folklore, we get the golem. And who is the golem? Take a look at the picture here, Mike. Generally speaking, a golem is an amorphous, a, an animalistic, a humanoid lump of clay or, or mud that comes to life. It's, it's hulking. In fact, it's the Jewish Hulk. So Mike, go to the picture of the 2018 movie about the golem. And there you see it. There is the golem. And that's the Jewish Hulk. Notice that he doesn't quite like to go without a shirt because it, he's just so fair skinned, right? And look at the haircut. And so there is the Jewish version. Uh, or maybe you could look at it this way. He's a steroided up Gumby. Nevertheless, he wreaks havoc on people. He goes hulking through the towns and the villages, and he can be an avatar of pretty much anything. According to Jewish authorities, the golem is a highly mutable metaphor with seemingly limitless symbolism. It can be a victim or a villain, a Jew, a non-Jew, a man, a woman, or sometimes both. So we've got the transgender Hulk, right? Over the centuries, it has been used to connote war, community, isolation, hope, or despair, our friend the golem. And if you go back to the picture of the, the uh, doctor, one of the most famous stories about the golem involves Judah Lo Ben Bezazel, a 16th century rabbi from Prague, Czechoslovakia. According, and there's the picture, there's a statue. Let's go take a little look at that statue, another angle. There's your statue. And so many tales differ on how he created and brought the golem to life and then afterward controlled it. So this creature, this golem, unlike the Incredible Hulk, was controlled by one individual, its creator. According to Moment magazine, we talked about that, this could mean all sorts of different things. And so we've got the golem there and uh, not related to Gollum. And oh, there's a, that's probably a good generalized image of what a golem looks like. And uh, they're kind of, I don't know, they almost remind me of Mark marshmallow peep monsters, right? they made out of sand or mud and clay. And so I don't know. I mean, what do we say? We, 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 other, other, other folk cultures have given us vampires and werewolves, uh, witches and demons and goblins, but the Jewish people give us a golem. And one more picture, Mike. Mama golem, I'm sure. Lots of Jewish matzah to get them nice and plump, right? Right.